Okay, so now we are continuing to look at linear independence. Okay, so where did we get to? We did all this. Ah, so now we're here at this uh, real theorem. Oh no, actually, there was this example. Is the set S consisting of 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 5, 2, 3, 5, linearly dependent or independent? Okay, so let's just do that one quickly. Okay, so to tell if it's independent, if it's, to tell if this thing is dependent or independent, we should maybe start, first start by inspecting it. Is there is any vector obviously a multiple of other vectors? And I can't see anything. Maybe you can. If you can, then you could just write that down and be finished. So I'm going to have to write down linear combination of all three vectors. set that equal to the zero vector, and then consider that as a matrix equation. And now do row reduction. So we can do, start off with, um, we can start off with row three, oh, we can start off with, oh, sorry, with row two minus two times row one, and also row three minus ah, row 3 minus row 1 minus row 2. In fact, let's just do that one first. That's a nice one. It has a, it has a big effect on things. Row 3 minus row 1 and row 2. You get 0, 0, 0. Okay, cool. So this we can only tell that this set is going to be is going to be dependent, right? Because we've got a free variable. Okay, so that means that one of the variables can be chosen to be anything, so you can choose it to be something non-zero. So we could choose one, we can have a free variable, so one of these things, A, B, or C, can be chosen to be non-zero, and so then it can, that vector can be written as a linear combination of the other vectors, because you can take it to the other side and divide through by its, its coefficient, times minus one. Okay, um, so it's perfectly fine leave it there. Right? We've got that row of zeros, so we know it's dependent. That's all, that's all you need to do. Okay. If you wanted to, you could actually write, get, proceed to write, actually write one of the vectors as a linear combination of the other vectors. So, let's also do, now let's also do row 2 minus 2 times row 1, okay? So then we're going to have, we have the zero row of zeros we got, and now we have 0 minus 3, oh, it's minus 2 times row 1, so 1 minus 8, which is minus 7, and then 3 minus 4, which is minus 1, and 1, 4, 2. Okay. So now we could do, we could do row 1, we could do, we could do row 1, plus 2 times row 2, and we could also times row 2. We could um, divide it. No, that's not going to be good. Let's do row 2 divided by negative 7. Okay, so you're going to get, you still have the 1, 4, 2, and now you have 0, 1, 1 over 7. And you have 0, 0, 0 here, A, B, C. Zero. Okay. Now we can do row one minus four times. Row, ooh, sorry. Row one minus four times row two is going to be one zero two minus four over seven. That's going to be one and three sevenths. So that's uh, ten over seven. 
10, I have 7, and 10, 0, 0, oh, sorry, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, right? Oh, sorry, not 0, 0, 0, 1, 0 there, 0, 1, 1 over 7, ABC equals the 0 vector. Okay, so now we can read up the solution. It's saying, this thing is saying that ABC equals, uh, there's a free variable, let's call it alpha, and that free variable is the C, and then we have, here we have minus 1 over 7, and here we have minus 10 over 7, okay, let's just multiply that whole thing by 7, so you're going to have alpha is minus 10, minus 1, in fact, let's, multiply, let's, let's all multiply the whole thing by minus 7, so we're going to have 10, 1, minus 7. Okay, so in other words, you choose, you choose, uh, if you choose B to be any alpha, then C is minus 7, minus 7 times that, and A is 10 times that. So let's check and see if that works out. So for example, if we choose B to equal to the alpha to equal 1, so that b equals 1, okay, we take this linear combination, oops, of the vectors of s, okay, so we start with b being 1, okay, then a is 10 times that, and C is minus 7 times that. Now what does this come to? You to your top line you have 10 plus 4 minus 14, which is 0. Cool. Next line, you have 20 plus 1 minus 21, 0. You have 30 plus 5 minus 35, 0. Yes. Okay. So we could write any of these vectors as a linear combination of the other vectors. In particular, maybe the easiest one to see is you could write 415 as being equal to 7 times 2, 3, 5, minus 10 times 1, 2, 3, right? But all this stuff, all of this is unnecessary, actually, for answering the question. For answering the question, is that set S dependent or independent? We could tell already, we could tell already from getting this row of zeros that the set was going to be, <coughs> sorry, that the set was dependent because it was a free variable. Okay. And I think um, that's it for this video.